Big and comforting today on Knitting Daily. This program has been made possible in part by... We're back with celebrity knitter Deborah Norville. And what are you working on right now, Deborah? This is my son's Christmas gift. Last year, I made an afghan for my middle child, and um, actually out of this green fabric right here. And my older son, when my other boy opened his gift, went, oh, I would love to have one of those. So I am furiously trying to get this done. He picked out the yarn. This was his choice of color. Mm -hmm. And this is just a very simple um, zigzag stitch. Um, but with a variegated yarn, it really makes it interesting. And what I've done is rather than just do knit, knit, knit the whole way every, I think, six rows, I reverse it and do a row of pearl just mm -hmm. to give it this little rib thing. Yeah, it's great. That, yeah. that gentle texture is really nice. It is. But I have to say, I was watching you knit the other day. I was watching the show. I don't knit the way you do. And I had a panic attack. I thought, oh, I can't go be on the show with you because oh, no. I do it wrong. I was like, people will say I'm a fraud. I don't do my stitch well, approach I th like I you do. I think it's really important to note that, you know, there's kind of no wrong way to do it as long as you're enjoying the process and, you know, getting something that you like out of it. Yeah. You're doing it right. Whew, so. I'm so relieved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, to go back to variegated yarns, mm -hmm. I love the idea of using variegated yarns kind of in an interesting way. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and it gives you so much more, um, I think, excitement. I think one of the things that I've discovered in working with variegated yarns, I like to take the yarn and mm -hmm. play with it first and see if it speaks to me. So this was a new variegated that I got. It's a worsted flat white. So everybody can see yeah, it. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just knit up a little square and I wanted to see kind of what, and I looked at this and I went, this will be a terrific vest. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to be open-minded about mm -hmm. what you might do with the variegated yarn because you can really come up with some interesting ideas. Kind of let it speak to you. Let it speak to you, absolutely. Well, and I love what you're wearing. Isn't this great? And this is, first of all, this is super simple. And, you know, we, a lot of people get hung up on the whole scarf thing and mm -hmm. think, oh, I can't do anything exciting. Oh, yeah, you can. This is, in a sense, is nothing more than just a, a elongated large scarf. But we've got a buttonhole right here, mm -hmm. which is, you know, easy enough to, to do. And then we've got the second large button here, which gives it visual interest, but it also is practical. If you don't want to do it on the shoulders like I'm wearing it, you can button it up here and make it more of a cozy kind of thing. It's so versatile. That's it's nice. versatile. And what's fun about this is the stitch. If you look closely, you can see it's not your typical stockinette stitch. This is a twisted stitch in between mm -hmm. these rows, and I'd love to show folks how to do it because it is so easy. Well, I'll hand you some yarn and some needles. Great. It's this a great is trick. yeah. This is a really easy um, stitch to do. So the first stitch is simply a slip stitch. Slip mm -hmm. your first stitch, knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch. But rather than bringing off your old stitch, leave it on the needle, bring it forward, and purl that one and the next one. Together. Together. Purl two together, mm -hmm. and then knit one. And that's your whole stitch repeat. That's a whole stitch. So then it's... So show us that one more time. Okay. All right. Actually, I purled that accidentally. Mm -hmm. And then and then it finishes with knit one. So it's knit one, mm -hmm. knit the next, but leave on, bring the yarn forward, purl two together, mm -hmm. knit one. And, and that completes it. And let's look at that flat again so we can see the yeah. effect that that has. So it gives you this, this is your row of knit that just mm -hmm. makes this nice, nice column. And then in between, you get a twist to your yarn because you're bringing those two together and, and knitting them in a, as a purl. Well, and let's look at some of the other fun stitches that you can use with variegated yarns. To well, that, exactly. I mean, it, it really, this one here in the back is mm -hmm. a beautiful, um, gorgeous, um, what would you call that? Kind of like a wagon wheel almost. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's a, a little bit complicated. You would have no problem with this. My enthusiasm might get me a long way, <laughs> but my, my ability might not. But again, using the variegated yarns, you get some really great interest mm -hmm. to it. This is a typical zigzag stitch mm -hmm. with a really large needle. And this is crocheted, right? This is crochet. Okay. And what we've done is we've used three different yarns. So this would be, for instance, the, um, the orangey tone. And then mm -hmm. we've got the pale green and the pale blue. And when you mix them around, you get this really interesting effect. So I think the thing, my message with variegated yarn is don't be afraid to try different things. Mm -hmm. um, and particularly when you can use the chunky, it makes it just makes it go so much faster and you really get some instant gratification. This is a similar thing. This is a much lighter weight yarn. This is a number two 
weight yarn. And um, this is, again, the typical zigzag stitch. This is a bunch of mostly triple crochets mm -hmm. with some spacing here. And this is a wonderful shawl. And I just love these sort of sea colors that come together. Well, it's fantastic that you can have, you can go all the way from very cute and, and funky to really elegant. Yeah, but I think the thing is, let the yarn speak to you. Do, do what I did with this one, make a little swatch, say, hmm, that could be this, that could be that, and be adventurous, because that's what knitting is all about. It's having fun with your yarn, having fun with your fibers, and creating something that's fashionable and fun to wear, too. That's a great thought to leave us with. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much, Deborah.